Hello everyone, Nerdlean here and welcome back to the Shadow and Flame mod as we have recently taken over Edoras in this evil campaign. We now continue to burn the villagers of Rohan, starting with Saruman besieging the West Fold. The villagers of Rohan believe they are protected by the powerful horsemen of Rohan, but nothing can shelter them from the darkness that approaches. Very well said. Let's see how much fear we can spread into the people of Rohan. I am here to serve. Dunland With our rather small army compared to... Uh, I forgot how loud eagles are. Yeah, we've got to destroy eagles. Oh, great crossbow and fire arrows. That can't happen because we don't have fire arrows. And combine or... Uh, command the Horde of Orcs use Bloodthirsty. Bloodthirsty doesn't exist in this mod. So we've just got two quests we can't complete. And the Eagles have been known to glitch out of this map, so we might not see them. But you know, other than that, all is honky dory. Get some lumber mills in here. Watch the skies for Eagles. How many ma units do we have? We have a lot, so we should be fine. Actually, we might be able to do fire arrow quests with these fire arrow volley. We'll give them temporary fire arrows, and you know, we might get an extra quest completed here. Who knows? Yes, I don't. Which is why I'm gonna try it. It does not work. Okay. Oh yeah, eagles don't fall, fall to the ground and die in uh, in this uh, BFME in our BFME one. They instead just disappear in a puff of white smoke. Same with the Nazgul. You must on their fell beasts. You. Although I don't think they'll be on fell beasts. In uh, this mod. We'll see. Oh, there they are. Go forth. Oh, I'm not afraid of no cave troll. And clearly those peasants weren't evil when they decided to go in and die. Need more furnaces. Need more economy rolling. Yeah, this battle can be ended very, very quickly. And I will end it very, very quickly. Once we have one thing, and that one thing is a full army. Because right now we have but remnants of what we should have. With over 100 command points not spent. It's a travesty. It cannot be allowed. We must fill up ranks with more soldiers from Dunland to later besiege Helm's Deep. And yeah, I'm just building furnaces everywhere. We don't need pikes. They're not a necessity in this mod. Or in Fear for Me 1 in general. They do help, but they aren't necessary. And so I shan't get them in this army unless we're really desperately fighting a oh, just endless cavalry. Oh, Saruman. And Fireball felt like it was so powerful because all, all the units were super small. And Fireball was an instant kill on nearly any unit, no matter what level they were at. Another eagle! Don't go off of my banner carrier like that, that's just rude. There we go. Our Huskars took a beating, but we're, they're still in one piece. The eagle, however, is not, which is what matters. Uh, let's use our vision and see they've started building an outpost over Thar with an army of cavalry on the side. I'll make a nice dinner platter. Get some Dunlending Axemen. Cancel two of them so we can get the... Um, cancel three of them so we can get the armory. And then get some. Just keep listening to that sound over and over again, because I enjoy it. Oh, you may, you may think, oh, but those are cool looking peasants. They're still just peasants, though, and so they die. Oh, the Bobos are fighting back. Not for long, though. They, they will die. But so will Rohan. Let's just burn it down faster. Please remember to not use that fire arrow, those fire arrows all the time, since they're our ticket to getting into the Isen the Rohan Fortress. And don't worry, I will eventually replace them with Rudauer, uh, Rudauer Dunlending Longbowmen. 
Once we actually uh, need to. Once they die. Get an outpost. Oh yeah, when Gr Grima says my words are sound, he doesn't literally mean my words um, create sound. It, they mean sound as in a... I think it's English. They just say my words are good. They're trustworthy. For, uh, for anyone that was ever wondering that. I don't think anyone was ever wondering that. I just wanted to say it. I felt like it was necessary to say it. And then we can fight the evil, fight the evil, please. We might be making more hostiles a little soon. I know we've still got all three of them, but we'll just need more Rudar Axemen then. All the ones that die. Let's get five more. Four power points. I can't spend anything on with four power points. I need two more before I can even get one new power. Oh, no, I use it. Well, I used it. There we go. Ah, they're building towers. No, my one weakness. And elves. They, these AI love making elves. Okay. Let's build three towers here. The money we make in this will be enough. Have we killed all the eagles? No. Shoulder those shields. Shoulder those shields. And yeah, we can't use fire arrows to destroy those towers, so let's not w deal with that. We have work to do. Oh no, I lost some huskals. Wolfgar summons his axe. Yeah, those towers are evil. Almost as evil as our towers. I know what is best. I long for Now, sadly, we have Wolf no healing capabilities, unlike the Orakai led by Lurtz, with thanks to Ugluck. So we've got to be very careful. Let's keep making more done endings whenever we lose them. Build more towers. I'm just going to press the T key because I forgot that's a thing. I always forget shortcuts are a thing in campaigns because you have to spam them a lot. Wolfgar summons his axemen. Alright. I don't trust wizards. Never Wolfgar summons his axemen. Yes, this way. Yeah, those towers make me want to get siege. I might destroy one of these to get siege. I've destroyed this to get siege. To burn those towers to the ground. Wolfgar provides. Where are they going? They're going for another outpost. Protected by wogs and. Warheads will pay for their treasure. By goblins. Not that that matters. This ain't no lowly skirmish. We've come with a full army ready to beat up some goblins and wogs. No reason. Other than because the AI wanted to do it and I want to stop them. I was hearing eagle in the distance. There's another outpost over there, so that's something to think about. Without delay. Without delay. Your crossbows go over there. There's the eagle. Fireball the eagle will have roast chicken tonight. Oh, it worked! <laughs> we'll have roast chicken tonight. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. That might just be the, the title of this video. We've got roast chicken tonight, boys. 
Oh, look at all those towers. It's so disgusting. Uh, I'm going to have to destroy all those walls. They can't bring them back. Uh, it's disgusting. It makes me sick to my stomach. I mean... I should probably just go battering rams. Archers are not good. The towers are not good against battering rams, so that should be fine. I think. Yeah, these axemen are built to destroy buildings, aren't they? No, not really, but I'm, I'm saying they are, so that's what they are now. I cannot wait to march on Edoras. You're not marching on Edoras, that's already been taken. Can you hear the news? The news of the world? Anyone that gets that, you're a legend. Fight on with hearts of steel, Axemen of Dunland, Saruman Light, Movement of Dunland. Do not be concerned. Yes, yes, we're doing good. You must trust me. Trusting Grima. Hmm. Trust Grima. Lobotomy. <laughs> Which one sounds better? <laughs> oh, it's a trick question. They're both bad. That should not be done. I cannot wait to march on the towers. The battle turns against us. Look at all our dumb endings. Oh, look at them. All dead. That old man unnerves me. It's an attack! My words are sad. The enemy stands before us. For the white crow! Oh, felt like it hurt. Do not be concerned. They're attacking us. Okay, battering rams to the center. What they got? Not a lot. Don't stand in the and you get the new Like I said, towers are evil in this game. Foreheads will pay for their church. You must trust me. Yeah, let's go to the center. There's no point sitting here anymore. Take the outpost. Make our, make the long way around. I cannot wait to march on the doors. Send out the new battering ram. For will triumph. That tower should be built by then. By the time they get to here. If they bother. Or the white crow. Keep your rangor. Keep your rangor. We spotted the enemy. I cannot wait to march on the dress. I cannot wait to march on the dress. They really want to march on Edoras. I'll give him props, I'll give, that has commitment. Get the rest of these towers built. Watch it, you. Runners, listen up. That's right, we're going back. There's a limit as well to all those things. Huh. Okay. I thought it was getting five. It felt like a good number. But nope, that's the limit. Keep 
take your land off. Move it over here. Both car knows what's the best for other people. Don't you drop it. Hey, Bastion Rams, make your way. I don't need a fifth. Four is enough. Move it over. Do not be concerned. We must go. Left it up. Left it up. Crossbows. Do it now. Move it. Open it up. Open it up. Try not to pull back a bit. Everyone else choose a charge. Rams can destroy towers? I mean, it makes sense. Don't you drop it. Listen to my words. Did you get the news? The cap is under attack. For the Black Hills. I only speak the truth. Now, uh, level 8 to get armor. I got scammed. Do this Keep making more troops for everyone that falls. For every troop that falls, make ten in their place. Yes, this way. Don't mind me having to remake these towers for those elves that you decided to make out of nothing. Meanwhile, I'm destroying your base, we're gonna do about it. I almost destroyed those towers, it's cool. Oh no, my Orokai! My last Orokai unit, don't die on me now. We've, you've been together with me since Isengard itself. And it's gone. And our army is very small. <laughs> I have a lot less than what I started with. There will be no dawn for men. You know what? That's fine. Kind of what I expected. But yeah, those towers beat you up so much. At least we managed to keep just refreshing the hordes. And we rushed them down to victory! And now we have more resources. And now the only things that remain from... A previous battle are the two Huskarls from the Eaves of Fangorn. Yeah, like I said, this happens a lot. And will continue to happen. Westfold conquered. Yeah. You're probably thinking about getting Wild Riders for that army. Nothing but then things is not a good idea. Alright, Lurtz, now it's time for you to take over Don Harrow. Dunharrow was sought by the Rohirrim as a refuge and rallying place. Soon it will be their graveyard. Soon it will be their graveyard. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And the last stage before Eisen, uh, before Helm's Deep proper. One. Mangrove 2. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they have Rohirrim protecting both of the walkways upward. So this could take a little while to get built up. But we've got time on our side. And we're making good money already. No point bothering with command point draining lumber mills when they'll just drain out command points. Or not drain them because they don't have any left to take. Uh, 
sick of the thing. It's almost feeding time. It's almost feeding time. They smell food in there. More gobos. Take that little money. This is around the tower, the base of towers, as it always should be. More outposts to take. And we shan't look up there just yet, because I know what's waiting for me. And knowing Shadow and Flame, they've probably doubled the forces or given them all upgrades. Where? There. Goodbye. Now, we're not going to go uh, up this way. We're just going to build a bunch of towers in that outpost to block off any future... Invasion forces. While we focus on the right side, because there's an outpost there we can use to then block off any movement towards the checkpoint. Oh, still a goblo over there. Not anymore, there aren't. And yep, look at that right there. Archers just sat there doing nothing. Let's bring them down here. On the very memorable step upward, which leads to the large camp where Saruman failed to 6,000, not nearly half as much as what I'd hoped. Make sure pikes are forward. Then our main aurochs, and then crossbows behind. Dead, dead, and this unit didn't take any damage. And charge them around, around and down town. Spears back down. Give him some medicine, boys. And now tower, 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 so nothing can come through. Furnace. Wogs. Or ups, in case I want more wogs and or ups. By want, I mean lose. Which might happen here because all my infantry left my archers alone. Something's in there. Can I pull them out? Ah, oh, I thought I could pull them out. Any trees to burn down? Just a couple. First, take the outpost. We can also be garrisoned by troops. Were those peasants or spearmen? You know what? Doesn't matter, they're dead now. Wherever they were, they're not anymore. Put holes in it. And yeah, we shall be taking the, the front door in and, and done Harrow. For anyone that's not played this map before, there's a cool little entrance to uh, the base of the enemy on this map. Oh, we've now got uh, loot on kills through pillage. Fifteen resources on a kill against... Damn, that's good. Anyway, we've cleared this side of the map. We can now move to the other side of the map. Well, we can also reveal what the secret is. 
Again, no unit of crossbow since we lost a few things. Get rid of the furnace, now our money is more than sorted. Build this outpost for posteri posterity's sake. And tower, tower, tower. Oh, and fall back up to here because they've started making waves over here. Don't want that. Have them destroying the base I just built. Continue distracting them as much as possible by keep rebuilding the towers as soon as they destroy them. I can't remember what the cap on good campaign uh, command points is. I think it's 600. So at some point we'll have absolutely gargantuan armies. Taken out those cavalry. Sickening things, horses. Not really, it's just, I'm just saying that because of the uh, situation. Troops instantly. It's good. It's very good. Oh, look at this look, fancy looking tower. I wonder what happens if I touch it. I can't remember which way it falls to fall back. But make sure you actually trigger it as well, please. That's the secret of this map. They have collapsible towers. Go on, let's shoot it. Which way is it going to fall? Timber! Oh, Sharky died. Let's get him back. Oh, I didn't kill anyone. That's sad. But yeah, collapsible towers. That's the first use of them that you will see in Evil Campaign. Only Evil Campaign, I believe, uses collapsible towers. Good Campaign, you see them on the map, you just can't interact with them if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. I'm not saying I won't, I'm not mistaken. I'm just saying I don't think I am. Combine units, nope. The combined mechanic, unfortunately, in BFMU1 is just as bad as it sounds. It combines two units together, which can be, in the case of Orakai, pikemen and crossbows. Uh, Orakai warriors and crossbows, or Orakai warriors and pikemen. Which you might be thinking, well that makes it the better, right? You have to spend less money on them and everything. But look at our money. Do you think I need to worry about that anymore? Sure, the beginning of every battle will have a moment of, a, a moment of no resources. But after that point, we have limitless resources. Oh look, another collapsible tower, right at the back of their base. I wonder what would happen if I pressed on it too hard. That would lurch right now. Since they've already built towers everywhere again. One, two, three, four. Leave Lurtz to his own devices, he knows what to do. And... I see. Didn't want to do that. Timber! Oh, it's beautiful. We even destroyed a building. Inside the walls.
And another outpost is ours. Move forward now, Urukai and Wogs. Destroy the archery range first, as is tradition. Why will my ranging is gone and my infantry are just sitting back looking at everything? Please go in. Please cause mayhem. Burn it all to the ground. Etc. ad nauseum. Etc. to ad nauseum. You fall back because you're getting focused. Build everything I'm trying to destroy. And defeats the purpose of me destroying your base. Okay, so my archers are dying, so get archers. Everyone out. We need to replenish our numbers because we are taking too many casualties. We're losing some wilds as well, so let's get some more wilds. Since they've only got one building left, just get out. Just get out and wait. Let's get some more pikemen, because we'll need them in our future battles. Cavalry becomes a lot more prominent in the future. They burn our built over that outpost. I'll be annoyed if they did, because that means I have to focus them after this and all this. Preparation I'm doing is for naught. Oh, can't command any more troops. They did it. Destroy them. If they won't die now, we'll destroy this building. Burn it down quickly. Let's see what they say about that. Wait, let's make sure they don't just rebuild the citadel as well. Don't get to rebuild my land now. And the rules of my land now is it's my land now. You can't just come back out of nothing. You can't rebuild everything you just lost. That's not allowed. They must all burn to ashes and dust. Until there is nothing but ashes and dust and burnt down trees. I guess that's, that's classified under ashes. 
No more, Rohan. No more. And that's why we bought over all those outposts. Because otherwise, if we don't, they rebuild everything. There we go. It's over. It's done. Roll the credits. Roll the credits. There we go. The land has been stained with the blood of men. The land is tainted. Oh, it's all ruins. Rohan is in shambles. Their homes burnt. Their people pillaged. Their towers desecrated. And now all that remains is Edoras, it's uh, Helm's Deep itself. I messed up the beautiful monologue I was having. The last army of Rohan has retreated to the ancient fortress of Helm's Deep. To Helm's Deep we shall go. Next time with Saruman. And I hope you've all enjoyed this, and I'll see you all in the next one. Farewell. <laughs>